Hey guys, good morning. So today we're going to be covering um, UDA WeWork. I'm going to be talking about it, obviously, because UDA has been all, always been that type of champion that I just love. Um, but I could never play him as good as Volibear. But the new WeWork, I gotta tell you, it makes me wanna wanna add him to my pool. So we're gonna be switching between Volibear and Udyr. Um Whenever Volibear is banned and whenever he's taken, that's when I'm gonna play the Udyr. Now I'm always gonna play the Volibear as my core. Like he's he's gonna be my my number one champion. But Udyr is gonna be my backup for sure. Um, no more Garen. Well, Udyr is gonna get banned and probably whatever taken. So. <laughs> Uh, I'll probably still play Garen in, in like my third option, but um, I gotta say, it's Udia growing on me, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm starting to look the part because I'm growing my beard out, my hair is getting kind of shaggy long, so, and not to mention, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys know, but my name is Bear, my real name is Bear, and um, my last name is Hart. H-A-R-T, which means uh, deer, a red stag. So, I'm a lot <laughs> like the you deer in a way. It's kind of funny. And, um, one of his skins actually symbolize, I think it's uh, the primal. Yeah. So you got the deer antlers. So when he's in his bear form, it's literally my name, first and last name. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Do a little trick to G's. Disrespect. <laughs> yeah, let's take a look at the back more, because I can't see on the angle. But you can see it there. That looks amazing. Get that frail droid and uh, symbolism stuff there. What's interesting is he's, he, if you look at the... What do you call that drape underneath it? It looks like very um, Ionian. You know, that time with uh, Lee Sin. It's got, the colors look very similar. This uh, little orange green looking uh, cloth underneath. And then this uh, horn here, it looks like it's kind of related to Orn, Bali Bear's brother, maybe. And then you got the beads here. I, I don't, I don't know what that, what that represents, but the beads have something to do. And then I, I heard something about what's on his hand. It's like a Lee Sin, like what's on a Lee Sin or something on his head, maybe. I don't know. It could be wrong. Uh, let's take a look here. We got some kind of claws here, which is kind of like, you know, the tiger stance, what it was before. And I believe, what's on his arm here? Is that the boar? I'm trying to read his tattoos. This one's Orn, right? That one's gotta be Orn. And this is Bolly Bear. I thought Bolly Bear would be on the other one. Maybe I can see it from this angle. No. <laughs> Kind of hard to see, hard to read. And then, um, the Phoenix has got to be here. Okay. I'm trying to understand his boots. I'm looking at his boots. They kind of look like, uh, Swifties. They kind of look like Swifties, don't they? Like this. A little fur around it. You know, representing the speed, but also like being out in the wild, nature, kind of native. And, um, you know, he, he's kind of both at boots. He's like a combination of uh, frail droid. These are frail droid boots, by the way. And then Ionian, which is this. So that's his background story. So these boots are very good on him. Cooldown boots or, you know, speed, slow resistance. Uh, Tenacity is good on him, but... Uh, I feel like the slow resistance is better. Um, you can run Tenacity in the runes. 
<laughs> yeah, this is cool. I like it. Alright, let's see the uh, what the uh, stances look like. So basically, with the passive, you um, get the lightning chain. So basically, like uh, a volleyball. But anyway, let's see the animation here. Okay, so that's the basic. And then when we double tap, we get the uh, additional attack speed and lightning. And you see a little bit of a bear transformation there. Alright, we're down. We're going to see the double tap on the iron mantle. Ooh, massive shield. So that scales off AP and health. So, if you're running a tank build or an AP build, it's going to be very strong. So that's what that looks like. That is dope. I like that. Look at that. Alright, we're going to see the double tap. So basically with the double tap, I guess you could just gain extra movement speed like that. Wow. Yeah, that's really good. So when you get the basic movement speed... And then the double tap, you can get out of a bad situation. He grants immunity to immobilization. He's almost like fucking Mundu in this case. If you double tap, you're, you're immune to uh, CC. So it's kind of like uh, Volibear's... Eh, I wouldn't say Volibear's Q, but I, uh, his ult. You know how he can... He can uh, he can ult during the time of CC and it won't, it won't affect him. He's unstoppable. Alright, so... Boom. That's what it looks like. Damn. That's nice. Okay, so four seconds of that. So double tap. And you can time it, too. So you can do like this. And you can see the timer. And then you can go boom. And you can walk around. So you actually can walk out of it. Maybe the timer doesn't matter. But you can space it out. Because if you slow somebody... And then you can double tap to keep it an additional, you know, amount or, or duration or whatever. I think it's four seconds. So eight, eight seconds total. Alright, so passive's up. Let's do the double salt. tap. See that? Right there. That's what the double tap looks like. That's really nice. Alright, so let's take a look with the ult. See that? See how I'm slowing them? It's crazy double cast it and it stays on him so you, this this is very effective way of getting away from and you can also apply cc and, and walk away and allow your team to go in and fight i'm, I'm, I'm loving this i'm loving this we work so for dinosaur. example you can do this double tap q you get the lightning chain increase the attack speed so I'm going to tell you right now, Frostfire is going to be broken as fuck on him. Of course, Sunfire is broken on him. Um, so many options. Trinity is good, but let's just go with the Frostfire for now. All right, tank build. All right, so we're going to go big ass dude there. Look at that, it looks dope, right? You see the symbol underneath him? It, it, it just looks really good. But um, even though he has slow on his R, being able to use the slow on his Q... Plus, uh, you know, these three abilities here, it's going to be pretty insane. It's going to make it hard for anyone to get away from him. And all that CC, he would be able to apply in team fights. Nobody's going to kite him and, and all that. So it's going to be juicy. Not only that, the bonus health would demolish what you're looking for. So let's just go with my regular Shine Breaker and we're going to look at it. Um, so Demonic, we already know. Just like Volibear, is really good on him. So Demonic is definitely a must-have. Uh, Ionian Boots. Let's see. Um, so what would I go as the last item? Uh, I could go Nashes. More I get attack speed if I want to. Or I can go Warmog, get more health. Steel Axe if I want to. Get the Lifeline Shield, which works incredibly well with the W. Item I can go Frozen Heart. That's also good. Especially uh, in Towers. Whatever. So we'll take a look. <laughs> look how big I am. Oh. All that slow, and then you get the Frostfire slow. AoE damage. 
So obviously the attack speed is kind of weaker in this one, right? So that's where uh, Trinity can actually be be a very good option here. Like an and you still get an incredible amount of uh, tower damage with this. You get the movement speed special when you use the ult. You can bounce around. You're burning the shit out of them. Gargoyle? Gargoyle would actually be pretty good. But anyway, I like to run Steelax. Thimble Winter. And you get that shield, and then it gives you time to shield them. Because when you're in team fights, most likely everyone's gonna blow you up. Even when you have Steelax. And the reason why I like Steelax with uh, Stone Plate is because with Stone Plate alone, you have to time it. You're active, and a lot of times I, I can't press it in time. I just instantly get blown up, and I, I, I fail to press it. So a Steel Axe is going to give you that time, gods. and then you can double tap, you know, your, your W with this, and get even more shield. So it's going to be a beautiful thing. It's definitely a broken, ta uh, broken tank build, and not only that, um, with uh, Fimble Winter, you get to shield off that. Especially when you use your, your your R and your E. And Frostfire is going to proc off your Q and your W. So you can get the shield that way off the Fimper Winter. Because otherwise it won't work off these two. So we double tap to get bonus attack speed. And then you can hit your W when it goes on cooldown. See what I mean? You can quickly take towers. It's a beautiful thing. And then wave clear with your R. Go right up. Double tap the tower. Until it goes on cooldown. And you can actually take the baby towers very quickly with a double tap Q. But the bigger tower, the first tower, takes a long time because you're early levels. And also I'm level 18, so... It's pretty insane. You can actually tap that. Move on to the next camp here. Boom. Move on to the next camp. It's actually broken with Demonic. If you build this in the jungle, it's insane. With the R, you can wave clear like crazy, especially with Titanic. Okay. This is probably the best Mythic in terms of uh, stats because of what it can do with Demonic. And uh, Titanic is really good. So you can get a decent amount of damage. Your attacks are slightly slower. So it's like, this is why the Riftmaker build is, is so great on him. Um, and Nashir. You get that extra attack speed. So Trinity is going to be always... Trinity has always been good on you. Always. So what do you guys think? In terms of items, what would you build? Udia can go anything. But I'm going to tell you right now, I think this is pretty strong. Um, Trinity is very strong. Uh, Frostfire is, is incredibly good. Sunfire especially. And that's the recommended. They see a star on it. Trinity is a star on it. Um, my favorite personal is going to be Frostfire and Riftmaker. But um, Divine Trini and Trinity are optional. That being said, you know me. Whenever I, I have another main, you're going to expect to see uh, cam skins. So with all of these Udia skins, um, you're going you're gonna to probably see that in a couple months. Maybe a month. I might have the base skin. Um, unfortunately, it's going to take me time to get all of them. And I'm working on a brand skin, which I'm almost done with. I'm very close to finishing. But I'm going to definitely be working on cam skins for Udia.